I have no doubt uh, or hesitation to argue that the task of architecture is slow down life and, and, uh, and time, our sensation of time. Architecture enroots you in the continuum of time and culture. And uh, architecture has to speak something about the historicity of the world in a really deep sense about the earth and the sky and things like that in a Heideggerian manner. If architecture only becomes an uh, invention of uh, aesthetic forms, uh, architecture is lost. I am of the opinion, I have been for quite a while, that in architectural education the primary thing is to take students to encounter live architecture. Because when architecture is presented uh, in a photograph, something, something essential, fundamental is, is missing. Uh, for instance, the way how, how the architectural piece is uh, integrated in its setting, in how it is in the world. And um, I am nowadays of the opinion that the most uh, important sense in architecture is not vision, it is uh, the existential sense. What is, I think, the a fundamental mistake uh, in, in thinking is to believe that the world is out there, outside us, or architecture is outside us. When we enter a space, the space enters us immediately. So our experience is always, uh, always an exchange. We are service providers instead of uh, thinkers about human existence. And architecture is always about human existence. It's meditation and philosophizing about who we are and why are we here and what is the world around us. And if that perspective is missing in architecture, something very fundamental is missing. I think in the focus in architectural education uh, during the modern times on form and uh, individual expression and uniqueness is totally false. Uh, architecture should, uh, education should focus on the understanding of self, recognition of self, because without a critical sense of self and real st stable sense of self, there is no uh, thinking about architecture or poetry or anything. The self is, is the, the center. Uh, I'm saying this uh, not to support any, you know, egocentric attitudes. It's just that the self is, uh, processes our be experiences of the world. I don't know of any school of architecture which would teach empathy. Why? Because that's what we need. We, uh, we have to uh, be able to imagine and experience the experiences of other people before the material thing even exists. And that calls for huge empathy. And uh, I, I say often that uh, when a good architect designs for an individual client, the process cannot uh, work the way that I would listen to you, ask questions of what you need and so forth, and then uh, design for you as the other. I have to identify with you, and I can only design for myself as you. Uh, that's how it works. And then in the, in the end of the process, I donate that uh, product to you. That's how it works. Empathy can, can be uh, trained. Uh, uh, it, it can also be 
be uh, killed. What kills empathy is arrogance. And when I see some of these world famous colleagues walking into a room, I know this guy doesn't have <laughs> empathy. <laughs>